Hello there, Sarah from 17 once again, introducing you to my Mass Effect 3 Insanity Difficulty video walkthrough. This is back on Tachunka, and this time we are curing the Genophage. Well, I say we're curing it, I suppose it all depends on your decisions and things whether or not that actually goes through. Uh, I'm not too sure if it can go down all that differently, but I'm... It's one of those things where Mass Effect generally, if you go the complete opposite path to the one I'm taking, maybe you'll have a really, really different result. And I hope you do, because that's what makes these games, you know, so interesting. But, at this very point, you're going to get attacked by a bunch of husks. And by now, you've... You've pretty much fought a lot of husks. They've, they've been, you know, just... just everywhere on every planet we've been to because yo know, it turns out in the future there's a lot of fucking humans and when the reapers turn up a lot of humans get turned into husks so you've been fighting these dudes for far too long so you should know your own strategy on how you're going to take them out as you can see i just shoot them a lot and uh, if i ever see a bunch of them stacking up because i have liara i use singularity because it, it just turns them into like confetti it's super useful and uh, i just pretty much go through the motions but uh, this mission's going to have another one of those interesting quiet sections where you go into uh, an underground area and you use your torch and things. It doesn't really make much you know, of a difference to the gameplay because all it is is an excuse for a little bit of exposition about the planet to explain how you're going to destroy the Reaper. And uh, it's, it's all interesting, it's all good and well and all that stuff. But it doesn't really change the gameplay too much. And then later on on this mission you're going to take on an area where the the enemies will never sp stop spawning, they just keep on dropping in, so you've just got to kind of push the objective. But I'll tell you when that is, and uh, you'll see what I do to, to kind of get past it. But, uh, just then, <laughs> I examined the shotgun, and I didn't mean to equip it, because anybody that's been following my playthrough knows that I don't carry a shotgun. And it's not because it's a bad weapon, the shotgun is actually one of the better weapons, it's just because it doesn't fit into the way I want to play. And on my recording run, because I wanted to do it as quick as I could... Uh, I used the weapons that I knew would enable me to be as safe as possible. And a shotgun is a fantastic weapon, but it puts you in danger spots. And it's un undeniable that you've got to have a risk and a reward system going to even want to use it. And as I've been going through this guide and editing it, it's, it's kind of funny because... In my mind, I died quite a lot on, on the recording of this, but so far, I think I've only died like twice. And it was both at the same place. And I think a lot of my reference for the times that I'm telling your guys that you might struggle is from my first playthrough when I died a lot more because I was, you know, testing out different ways to try and game the, the game, so to speak. But uh, this is the section where you go with your flashlight on. If you do have the shotgun and you hold the trigger for it because it is a charge weapon, it will actually illuminate these corridors and it makes it a lot easier to see because there's, there's hieroglyphics on the walls. This is one of them. Um, I think there's three. I only get two in this video, but there could be more. And for each one that you, you examine, you do get quite a lot of money. And what you're going to see me doing in a few videos is I'm currently saving up for the Black Widow, which is uh, a semi-automatic sniper rifle that is extremely powerful. And it costs about 250,000 credits, so I'm kind of saving up till I get that. And I do... I do get the gun by the end of the game, but I get it quite late, and if you're doing side quests, and you're doing side missions, and you're scanning planets, you're probably going to get money a lot faster than I do in this playthrough. And you need to buy some of those Spectre class weapons. And the reason I say you need to is because they're some of the best weapons that, that are in the game, and if you power them up with the upgrade system, they'll be even more useful for you. So, it just, it makes perfect sense to, to spec that way, because those guns are kind of like the best of their class, and... Uh, they're pretty damn sexy, so you, you want to try and work towards them. But this firefight coming up can be quite difficult because there's a bunch of the, the Ravager guys that noob tube you. My first time through here, I got my ass handed to me quite a lot, but on the recording, it went really smooth, so hopefully you'll get the same as me and you'll have no issue on your on your playthrough. But I've got a couple of things to talk about because there's been some, some things happening on my channel that I, I need to, to put out there to try and enlighten a few people. So a long time subscriber of mine has been sending me some messages because he was concerned about the consistency of an upload that I've been doing. And I'm not going to go into detail about where the conversation's gone or anything like that because it's not necessary. Uh, but suffice to say, to, to cut the story short, uh, the person was kind of wanting me to have more consistencies with what I upload. 
and uh, there's been some back and forth with it and I want to address it now to, to everybody that's listening to this because I get a lot of messages with people who are giving me their advice on what I should do with my channel and what they think is best for, for my direction when it comes to uploading things and I read all these messages and I get quite a few of them and I do take into account uh, a lot of what people say but people need to realize that this is my channel and I've been doing it for a year and a half now so I kind of know where I want my channel to go I kind of know what I want to do and as much as I'm open for people to suggest things and for people to give their their five cents I have access to a whole wealth of statistics thanks to thanks to Google and YouTube when it comes to analytics and the video manager that show me how all my videos are doing what is popular what people are watching what is failing what is succeeding it gives me access to a lot of things and it enables me to adjust my channel in, in relativity to those results and these are things that people can't see and what you have to bear in mind is the stats that you see when you visit my channel, they're not up-to-date stats. The amount of views I have on my video will generally be a little bit disparate to what it says on, on, on the statistics that I have. I mean, a good example of this is before the, the mandatory change to the YouTube layout happened, which I've got to say, I don't know about your folks, but I fucking hate the new layout for Function. Sure, it looks real pretty, but I, I just I feel like I can't see the information that matters. And... Um, before that happened, on my subscriber count that, that people couldn't see, I had, uh, I think, 2,096 subscribers. But on the one that displayed on my channel, I only had 2,040. And it still hasn't gone up to that number. And I maybe I might have lost a, a bunch of followers, I don't know. But it just goes to show that there is definitely a latency when it comes to updating statistics. So what I see and what you see are different. And the main focus of... of the argument that I had with the, the person that was inquiring was about priority guides and to me it makes complete sense and I don't understand how you can't understand it. It, it, it to me it's a logical absurdity I will stop whatever I'm doing be it a walkthrough be it a, a Call of Duty commentary series I'll stop anything if a new game comes out because a new game coming out is an opportunity for me to get as much content out as I can for that one release in the zeitgeist of its window. When it's first come out, everyone's talking about it, everybody's searching YouTube for content. That is my opportunity. A three-year-old game does not give me the same opportunity and thus is nowhere near as important because it doesn't help my channel as much. It's just fact. And you'll notice if you've been with me a while or if you, if you take note of the things I do upload that you haven't seen a Saints Row video in ages because it's just not a high priority because it's a fun project. You'll notice that the Syndicate Guide has stopped uploading because I have to get this out. Mass Effect 3 is too important for me not to focus on it. It's that simple. This is a game that everybody wants to watch everybody wants to see and everybody's uploading and I need to get it out there it's just it's simple business ethics it's how it works it's, it's, it, it makes perfect sense to me and anybody that's concerned with this direction who's liking one of my other projects that isn't finished right now I have this to say if I start a walkthrough I will finish a walkthrough and chances are I already have just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there and I've only ever stopped one walkthrough, and that was Dead Island. And the only reason I stopped it is because I wasn't enjoying the game. It's one of those things where that game on solo is boring as fuck, and I didn't want to do it. And I did two videos where I said that this is going to just be a live session and it might turn into a, a, a playthrough if I enjoy it, and I didn't, and it didn't. It's that simple. But I just, I just find it kind of, <laughs> not so much pretentious or conceited, but... It baffles me that people can think that they know more when it comes to the direction of my channel. Like, they know what would be beneficial than the direction that I'm already taking when it comes to, to, to my content. Because I invest everything in this. This is not only my hobby, but I treat it like a business. And I have to, because it's the way I keep the level of professionalism that I like to give. And it's like... You don't put everything into something unless you're committed 100%. And the creator will always know more and better than the people that that watch it. And it's not an egotistical thing. It's not a, a pride thing or, or to try and sound like a dickhead. But it's like an author who writes a book. 
no matter how many times you read that book, no matter how many times you go on a forum and you talk about speculation with people, you will never understand them characters more than the man that created them because they came from his mind. It's <laughs> it's crazy, and I, and I just wanted to to settle that there. So if you don't care, that's perfectly fine. But <laughs> it had to be said. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. So you take care now.